Hi, this is Dave Aquino with MicroQuant, and this is the free video for Wednesday, February 5th, 2014. I just wanted to quick show you a great trade that we took today in the Stocks and Options live trading room. Normally we trade intraday uh, in the opening hour. That's a little misleading. Usually it runs about an hour and a half, sometimes two hours. Um, but we were trading Apple and Google and some Amazon today, some Tesla also. And uh, this opportunity came up in Google. You can see that uh, this is a nice little downdraft that occurs roughly about 1025. We push back up through these multiple support and resistance levels that uh, are in the approximate uh, $1,132 range right here. Now what we saw was that this support level looked like it was going to hold, that the downside momentum was fading, but we started stabilizing right in here, and the fact that the NASDAQ actually started to go up at this point. So at this point I took a small position in uh, Google, uh, five call contracts, and then on this next bar when it looked like it was going to hold, I added another five call contracts. So the total position was 10 contracts. Uh, they were Delta 70 or better calls. And uh, again, this is a 75 tick bar chart. So that's roughly um, about 1031 that we got in. Now the, uh, the price of, uh, actually it's 1028. The price started to, to move higher. And as I normally do in the trading room, once we break higher here along with the market, I start looking for areas to start taking profits, targets that I aim for. The first target was this significantly overvalued right here on yesterday's low. We pushed to that level. MQ trend dots right here provided another resistance, uh, another target level. We pushed through that. I sold some there. And then as we kept going higher, Basically what I did, I watched the slope of the MQ momentum indicator line. And once that slope goes from positive to flat to zero, that's where I sell. Because we did have another resistance level here at 1142.75, but we never reached that level. But once that indicator line started to flatten and the histogram started to fall, that's when we closed out our position. Now on the 10 contracts that we traded, um, we made a very nice profit. Now, the, the, the complete move was from 11.32 up here to 11.42. So that's a $10 move. Um, with our Delta 70 call and the way we trade it, we actually made roughly um, uh, $3.80 per contract. Again, it's because I take profits a little early sometimes and I take them on the way up so that I get the uh, the majority part of this trade and um, able to make a, a lot of money. So with 10 contracts times uh, 100 shares times $3.80, that's the average gain in those options, we're able to um, make a profit of roughly $3,830 and again we get in at uh, uh, 10, let's see, 1028, and we get out of our last position at 1035. So that trading, entire trading time is seven minutes. We made $3,830. Those are the kinds of trades we look for, and um, we usually get good scalping trades, good intraday trades, different time frames, but high probability. Um, divergence and support and resistance trades. So come join us and uh, see for yourself uh, what kind of uh, profits you could be making. Thank you.